Scary Mary. You've probably heard of Bloody Mary before, the blood-covered girl who lives in the mirror. But you've probably never heard of Scary Mary. And if you have, then you should know how, sh how to summon her. But not many people who know how to summon her know the true story. Mary was homeschooled. She lived in the middle of nowhere on a farm. Since she lived in the middle of nowhere, she didn't have any friends. So she would take her grandmother's white fancy dress, put it on, and talk to herself in the mirror. The dress combined with her brown curly hair, blue eyes, and white skin makes her look very pretty. One day, a fire broke out in the house. She was upset. She was too obsessed with her reflection to notice. She burnt alive in that fire. Now her reflection haunts the mirror while having to live with burns all over her body. Since her beauty was taken away, she'll take yours. Yeah, you heard me right. She steals your face. But that's only if you do the ritual wrong. And if you do it wrong, she will take your face and drag you into her realm where you will live the rest of your life as a slave for all of eternity. And only a boy or girl who truly loves you can save you. But I'll get more into that later. Now, if you would like, I could tell you how to summon her. Well, you didn't leave, so I guess you want to know how. To start off, I will name what you need. Number one, a bathroom or bedroom mirror. It mostly works in a bedroom mirror. Number two, if the mirror doesn't have a table under or connected to the mirror, get a table. Three, four candles and a lighter. Four, if you are a girl, then get a beauty products and a fancy dress. If you are a man, get hair gel and a comb, a comb and a suit. Five, buy a hairbrush and burn it just enough for it to still be able to brush your hair. Six, you need a best friend or loved one, in which I mean boyfriend, girlfriend, or married couple. Number seven, a picture of you or of you and your best friend or loved one. 8. Finally, a rose. This will serve as a gift and a backup. Now I will start with the females, as I am one myself. Put on your dress and your makeup. Make yourself look like you're going to prom or a wedding. After that, set up your four candles into a square, if you, if you were to connect them. Make sure your friend or loved one stands outside the room you're in. Before you light the candles, put the rose and the hairbrush in the middle of the square. Now you may light your candles. Do not light the candles beforehand. It will not work if you do, and she may just drag you to your realm. Now, you must turn off the lights and say these words while staring at your reflection in the mirror. Scary Mary looking through. Scary Mary, she sees you. Scary Mary looking through, Scary Mary, she's got you. After this, you will need to brush your hair three times with the hairbrush. After that, put the hairbrush down exactly where you had it. Now, what you must do is call in your loved one. Make him stand in the way so the mirror does not reflect him or her. Now, Scary Mary just might appear in the mirror. If she does, remain calm. If you show one slight sign of your loved one being in the room, she will take you. If, and if you look frightened, she will take you. If she looks upset, give her the rose as an offering and say very politely, Will, will you take the present? If she takes the present, you are safe, and you may continue the ritual. If you are not, then she will drag you to your realm. I'll get into what you do if you get to her realm, but for now, I shall not. Now, if you are a male, you will do the ritual the exact same, but slightly different, as you will do your hair, put on the suit, and make yourself look fancy, and do as much as you can. You will also need to brush your hair three times with the hairbrush. If you do not, she will take you. 
Now, a warning to all of them. Do not brush more than three times. If you do, it will be the death of you, and she will take you to her realm. Also, if you do not put it in the square, she will take you, as she will find that disrespectful. If you do not ask polite politely if she will take the present, she will rip the present out of your hand and steal your loved one from behind the mirror. Now, if you fail to do the ritual correctly and she takes you, you, this is what you will be meted with. You will wake up in a room, on a bed. If you are a female, you will wake up in an old-time dress. If you are a male, you will wake up in a farmer's suit. When you get out of the bed, someone will open the door. Most likely, a man or female wearing a mask, wearing the exact same outfit as you. She will remain calm even though you will probably be frightened. If you are frightened, don't be. They will not harm you. They were people who failed the ritual and had no way to do your backup. Make sure the picture was with you at all times. Even if she did drag you through the mirror, make sure you had the picture. If you do not have the picture, you will be stuck there for eternity, or your loved one will have to go through the ritual to get you out. When one point in time, the man or the woman with wearing the mask will ask you to pick one. You must pick one, but do not put it on. If you do, Scary Mary will have your face. If you are a male, the mask will not do anything to you. She will keep you around until she does find a good face. And you can take her out of this fiery realm and put her in and put her into the real one where she can live a happier life. Now, if Scary, Scary Mary will then take you to her room, where she will put on the mask and take your face. You must remain calm. If you remain calm, she will be impressed. She shall then ask, how do you plead? That's when you will pull out the picture and say, I plead for my loved one. He or she shall save me no matter what. Our love will stay intact. In that moment, your loved one shall go through. Your loved one can see and hear everything that goes on through the mirror. Your, friend, your loved one must go through the mirror, which will be easy since you already did the ritual. He, he will then take you. You must run out of the farmhouse and go through the Lake of Tears, which is outside the house. Since her realm was built of fire, you must go through water to get out. Now, if you are a male and you get taken, you will do the exact same thing. Again, the mask will not do anything to you. If you mess this up, you will be a fraternity wearing a mask. Same with the females. Now, if your loved one fails to go through the mirror, you will be stuck there and your loved one will have to live without you. I'm sorry to say, but that will happen. If you do the ritual correctly, you'll be able to ask Scary Mary questions about her life and what she was able to do. Do not ask her about her death. If you do, she will find that disrespectful and drag you through the mirror. If you do ask a disrespectful question, just restate that she gave you a present, that you gave her a present. She will calm down and continue with your conversation. Now, if you did the ritual completely correctly, here is how you end it. You shall say, Scary Mary looking through. Scary Mary, she's tired of you. Scary Mary looking through. Scary Mary, she let go of you. Then you shall say goodbye, and she will leave. She will nod her head three times, which signifies she is leaving, and her reflection will fade from the mirror. For the next few days, you might have cracks, minor or major cracks, in your mirrors. That is completely fine. 
That just means she's still hovering around your home. She cannot do anything to you. She can just mess with the mirrors. Not jump scare threats, but she can crack the mirrors. If this happens, remain calm. And just replace the mirrors if you need to. If you do it once, do not play it again. If you do, she will drag you through, no matter if you do the ritual right or if you do it wrong. If you do have the guts to do it, please, please follow all the instructions. If you do not, then you will surely go to her realm. Also, there is another way to do it. You may also give Scary Mary the picture of you and your loved one as a present. If you do, you will be able to ask for as many wishes as you would like, or at least one through ten wishes. These wishes will come in handy. If you decide to do the wishes version, do not ask for more wishes. Do not ask for love. Do not ask for revenge. And do not ask for wealth. You must ask for things that mean less. If you ask for those, you will get the opposite. If you ask for wealth, your wealth will decrease. If you ask for good health, your health will decrease. Now, I really hope you don't do the ritual. And if you do, and you survive, good for you. But just be careful. Scary Mary is a very tricky girl. Hello, guys. It's Dare. I hope you enjoyed Scary Mary. And guess what? I wrote it. I am not even joking right now. I wrote it. Here, I'll even prove it to you. Look at all those words. Look at all those words.